Hi guys, this is Mark and Meadows. I'm Charlotte Chong, joined by Nadia Hassan. Today, company in the news, we are looking at Kaju Teraan Samudra Timu Bohat. The stock actually closed 4% lower at 48 cents today. And then the company is very, it's a very interesting company. It exited as PN17 company last year, last July. But now it's considered as a cash company. Um, but the company is still under PN16. Which means that they don't have a business yet. Yes, they do not. Uh, so actually what happened today was that uh, one of the very few news that came out today, uh, they actually bagged a contract from London, Malaysia, BV. Mm -hmm. uh, BV, I suppose, stands for British Virgin Islands. Uh, to provide oil country tubular goods inspection services. Mm -hmm. I assume it is to inspect all those tubes. <laughs> yeah, but I think this company has been providing, you know, all these kind of inspection services, so it's not something very new for uh, Kajurta and Samudra Timur Bahad. But like a lot of other companies, they did not actually disclose the contract value because they think that such services depend on demand. Now, a lot of companies didn't actually provide all these kind of figures, but you know, sometimes Busa will ask them questions about contract values. Of course you have to have ask contract mm. uh, values. That is actually your right, mm. especially if you are a shareholder. a shareholder. Exactly, it's your right to ask Kujutraan, look, yes, fine, the de services depend on the demand and activity levels of London and the scope of their services rendered by the company mm. during the duration of the contract. I think it's not unfair to kind of ask, if you are a shareholder, I'd go to them and say, hey, what is your ballpark figure? Mm. You know, there must be a range. Exactly. Uh, you know, are they paying you a penny? Are they paying you $10? Which mm -hmm. one is it? So the thing is, it obviously, this lack of details did, didn't, didn't impact the, what it got, didn't help the share price, as you said, yeah. 4% down. Like 4%. Two years for this. Uh, it, it, do we do expect it to contribute positively to the group's earnings? I still think they should definitely disclose how much it is. Yes, exactly. Because if, if it's not, if it's not going to hurt you, or if it's not going to get like kittens killed or something, uh, mm. there, there must be at least an, an idea for a shareholder to wrap its head yeah. around. They, of course, they have the right to know this kind of thing. Now, in January, they, this company had announced a regular, sorry, regularization plan, which may see ventures into a power generation business in Sabah. And they are negotiating with a few vendors. They are pl planning to acquire this company, independent power producer, Sabanga, uh, Sabanga Bay Power Corps and Empire, or just say SBPC. And this company actually has the right to build, own and operate a, a 100 megawatt combined cycle in Sabah. Yeah, so wait, what happens is it's essentially a split, right? Because mm -hmm. KTFB's listing status will be ref, uh, what it got transferred to this new co, which is going to be in charge of this plan. Because it's the scheme arrangement while this private limited company is going to be inquired, what I call it, incorporated to acquire this. And then the, the inspection and maintenance stuff, the, the contract we talk about, only goes to Samudra, Timo, Sindhya, Bahad. So they're essentially kind of compartmentalizing mm. their, their companies. And so actually, if you look at the numbers, it's still okay because, you know, yeah, fine, top line was down, but if you don't have business, that's going to be expected. Saying that, you know, net profit was up 477.8%. Mm. That's a lot. Yeah, now, exactly. to take it all home, KSTB, Samudra, back a contract from London, Malaysia, BV, to provide tubular, tubular goods inspection services and they say it could not disclose contract value as such services depend on the demand but I think shareholders have the right to know how of much course. roughly. Also in January, it announced a regularization plan to probably venture into power generation business in Sabah. Now let's move on to NTPN which is our booker call uh, brought to you by RHB Research. The, com the research house, house actually downgraded uh, the stock to neutral from buy with target price of 94 cents as it changed its valuation matter to DC, DCF from PE. Well, that's not far off because mm. at the moment today it closed about 0.54% up to 93 cents. I, it's been on a roll. I think this whole downgrading mostly is because from what I read from the report, it's just in their universe, they think that the valuations look a little bit more you know, too expensive. Mm. That's why there's kind of no buy. Because look at the share price. It's surged about 27% since December 2015 because there was uncertainty in the broad market, but they think that the current valuations have definitely fairly priced all the firm fundamental prospects because these guys actually went to see them. Mm. They actually went to see them and uh, this is the feedback that they got because they wanted some updates on the company. Right. Chuang's favourite company. Yes, from Penang. Yes. RSV Research actually say that they, they are quite positive in uh, on this company although they downgraded it. They say the recalibration of a foreign workers' levy is likely to have insignificant impact because I think NTPM has less than about less than 5% of foreign workforce in the company. But haven't they actually also... Um, well, obviously, the, this report's come out 
but they have said they put it on hold, haven't mm. they? The foreign workers so level. So they say after, probably, after Chinese New Year, they'll probably come up with a new new rules again. Because this one will impact more than anything else the plantation guys. And the mm. plantation guys, where 78% of it is all foreign, foreign labor workers. force, mm. are you surprised they, they, they didn't take it lying down? Mm. I'm uh. glad they put it on hold, though. Now, uh, actually, MTPM, RGB Research, say they are encouraged with the progress that it has made in Vietnam. The company has a factory, I think, with uh, you know, of workforce in Vietnam as well. They have started uh, operation in late 2015, and its co production capacity in Vietnam actually made up about 10% of the total group capacity. We've been doing this for a couple of months, and you do notice that a lot more people are looking at Vietnam again, mm. right? Because there was a spate when everybody did go, it didn't really work out because the infra yeah. wasn't there. Now it's back as the interest. But speaking back to NTPM, it, they do RHB does maintain its earnings forecast. They do say that further visibility on that Vietnam operation was actually good for them. Insignificant impact of of that potential foreign worker levy. And if you look at their numbers, how can you argue with it? 10.5% up on the mm -hmm. top, 84.8, let's say 85% up on the bottom. These guys have been holding the fort. Now, let's take it all home. Uh, RGB Research actually downgraded NTPM holdings to neutral with a target price of 94 cents. And it thinks that the current valuations have caught up, like what you say, after share price surged 57% but I suppose since we also, December last year. But we also have to put it this way, right? Mm. I think when you downgrade, it's not a loss of confidence in that part. It's just they thought they, it's going to be They think expensive. that it's already pricing all yeah. these so good things. So I think that's one thing we have to emphasize. Because although you downgrade it to neutral, that doesn't mean that RHB does not have faith in what mm. NTPM is doing. Now, and the last one is, the, uh, like what you say, RGB Research will maintain its earnings forecast on further visibility of uh, NTPM's Vietnamese operations unfolding. That's all we have today. I'm Charlotte Chong, joined by Nadia Hassan. For more information, please visit www.dhmarkets.com or pick up a physical copy of uh, DH Financial Daily or DH Weekly. Thank you for watching. Have a great evening.